So, Shant is going first. <laughs> we are in Europa now. Uh, this is uh, Nico and this is Manuel, guys. We are back here in... Where are we now? Intramuros. Intramuros. So we're going to do the bum bike. <laughs> so we can see there are uh, quite a lot of foreigners here. I mean, not really a lot, but I have seen few foreigners. So the streets here, they look really amazing. Like it's not the buildings, right? Yeah, in Europe. The buildings, like you are in Europe, you know. It's really, really insane. Like very, very beautiful. Look at those buildings here. You want to start taking pictures? Oh, again, 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 again. Oh, 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 oh my god, look at this. Oh. <laughs> okay, so let's go, guys. We are late. Oh my god, it's almost 3 p.m. now. We need to find the bum bike. Uh, okay, so there's like these guys here, they get you parking if you are bringing your car. I think we're gonna like drive a bicycle later. Oh, which one is mine? The big one. I want basket in the front. <laughs> okay, so let's find... I think this is the bum bike. Yeah, guys, we are here. Look at these bikes up there. Uh-oh, Basel, not Basel. <laughs> Basel, Basil. <laughs> yeah. Basil, Basil, Four. four. We are four. Come on, stack we are. Okay, then. Good. Good. Are you good? Yeah, I'm fine. You're good? I guess. You good? Sure. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> You're good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Philippines. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Uh, Kuwait and Syria. Yeah, Philippines, Algeria, and we are international. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. first time Dito. First time Dito. Yeah, that's why I'm excited. Uh oh, <laughs> power. <laughs> Ready, Kana. Sige, sun waiver. Dito. We're looking for the waiver. <laughs> okay, okay. Sige, wala na problema. Yeah, no problem. More fun. <laughs> Do you have any idea what we're gonna do today? Uh, we are gonna have fun. That's we're gonna have fun. <laughs> have fun on the bike. <laughs> do you know what we're gonna do today? I think we're gonna have fun. Oh, how about you? Dude. <laughs> Customized. <laughs> okay. Which one? Oh, that's mine. This is mine. I like this. That's yours. That's your side. <laughs> okay, how about you, Shant? Huh? How about you? <laughs> it's gonna rain? Yeah. Shit! Where will I put the camera if it rains? Where do I put the camera if it rains? What do you think? It's okay, I'll, I'll give this to your camera. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. I, I'll, be, I'll be sacrificing myself. I'll be using this for the camera, you know. Right? No. Much better I get wet than my camera. Let's see guys, this is gonna be an adventure. We are like uh, taking the bikes. We already choose our bikes, this is mine. That's yours. Yours is small. Oh, you have a speed uh, thing here. Oh, look at this. Oh. Which is a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't have a bell in here. Sean, you don't have... Here, here, Kuya. Here. How many cc is this? 5 cc, 5 cc. <laughs> okay, I still need one. Let's start now. Okay, five rows here in the Philippines. Stay on the right side of the road. We stay on the right side? Right side. Okay, we follow you. Okay, sir. <laughs> I hope my camera will not fall. 
Why my bike sound like looks small? Yeah. I think it's big. You don't know. <laughs> Mine is small. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm driving with my hand. You know. Whoa! I mean, why this bike is small? Yeah, Manuel doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, where, where are we going now? Oh. Oh. Okay. You too, don't cry. <laughs> I want to show them the, what's ahead of us. Sean, don't crash! <laughs> oh, Sean is starting to show his talent. Oh, so I'm wearing this in case it rains. Oh, look at Manuel. Oh, wow. How are you doing, Nico? Don't crash. Oh, Nico knows how to drive a bicycle. She drives motor. She drives motor? <laughs> Oh, I'm the only one left behind. There are horses here. Hey, Kuya. Whoa. <laughs> I'm the only one left behind because I have to vlog. No one can vlog me when I'm driving. So sad. <laughs> but are you sure? I don't want to drive. Right? No. Okay. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Go guys! <laughs> Whoa. Nico, How are you doing? Driving and vlogging me at the same time. Maybe when you miss me. Yeah, well, we still have fun. Look at the two. <laughs> no, I just follow you both. <laughs> follow the leader. <laughs> so the streets here are nice, right? Yeah, it is. Yep. Old one. <laughs> Hi, Kuya. I think we'll have a stop over there. Yeah. Wonder what they have there. Do you, are you enjoying the bike? Of course. Of course. We survived. Everyone's ready? Just like that. Okay, we're gonna go inside. Oh. <sighs> you guys go out, vlog. I think I'm loving it. You're loving it? Oh, yeah. thank you very much. Nico is the cameraman yeah. today. <laughs> Actually, a camera woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good that you identify me, you know. <laughs> this is kidding. We're entering the cave. Nico, she's talking. <laughs> okay, so who's first time here in the Philippines? <laughs> I'm sure you're not first time here. <laughs> So for those who's first time here in the Philippines, welcome to the Philippines. And those uh, who's not first time here, who's from here, welcome to Intramuros. So the Philippines was invaded by four foreign countries. First was the Spanish. So while the Spanish were here, the British invades the Philippines. Third one was the Americans during 1898. Then the fourth one was the Japanese during World War II. And is it okay to you to hear stories about World War II here in the Philippines? Of course. Sure. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So also, we're the only country that was colonized by Spain that can speak fluent Spanish. 
Because during Spanish period, the parish priest doesn't want the natives to learn how to speak Spanish because they love to gossip. They love to talk about something that is really uh, connected about the church. So what they did is they studied the dialects here in the Philippines and that is how they teach the, the natives about the Bible. And then when the American uh, Americans came here, I guess it's hard for them to study the hundreds of dialects here in the Philippines. So what they did is they teach the Filipinos how to speak English. That's the reason why we're one of the best English speakers in Asia. Okay? So any questions so far? I'm gonna elaborate that one later. So I'm Grizel. I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Arts in History and I'll be your tour guide for today. So if you have questions, don't hesitate to ask. Of course, I have limitations. If I don't know the answer, I'll research it the next time you come back, I'll tell you the answer, okay? <laughs> okay, deal? Yeah, yeah deal. <laughs> well, Google is not really accurate. <laughs> Imagine in Google, you can search that one of our national heroes was, uh, well, the father, the biological don't father. Don't Google Africa. here, guys. Okay. So as what I've said, we were colonized by four foreign countries, but first, in 1200s, the Chinese traders was already here. 1300s, Indianized countries like Indonesians and the Malaysians came here with the religion Islam. When the first European explorer landed here, most of the people living in the Philippines, especially in Manila, were Muslims. So the first European explorer who came here was a Portuguese that was commissioned by King of Spain in 1519. Which is, if you think about it, it was a bit odd. Because Spain and Portugal uh, was the biggest competitor for spices. So do you have any idea why suddenly a Portuguese was commissioned by King of Spain? When Ferdinand Magellan, the Portuguese guy, went to King of Portugal, Manuel I, he told the king that he can find another way to Molucas or the Spice Islands crossing the Americas. But the king told him that no, if you cross the Americas, you'll fall to infinity. So he was rejected by King of Portugal, then he went to King of Spain, which is, by the way, during that time, was very desperate to find another way to Asia. But he accidentally landed in Leyte, which is an island here in the Philippines in 1521. So when he landed here, he befriended the local chieftain here named uh, Rao Mabon. And Rao Mabon and his wife, Harao Mamay, was the first native here in the Philippines that was baptized in Dakaka. And then he went to another island, which is called Cebu. So when he landed there, he tried to befriend the local chieftain there named Lapu Lapu. But Lapu Lapu doesn't want to be friends with him. Because he knows he will just colonize and baptize his natives. So they fought. And unfortunately for Ferdinand Magellan, he was shot by an arrow with a poison and he was left dying in the sea by his crew members. Because as what I've said, he was a Portuguese leading a Spanish fleet. So his companions returned back to Spain and reported the incident to King Carlos V. King Carlos V ordered the second mission, which was led by Ruy de Villalobos in 1543. But de Villalobos landed in uh, Mindanao, which has a strong resistance against the religion. So another failed mission for the second time. Third mission was led by Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, and this time he was commissioned by King Philip II, where we got the name Philippines. Philip, Philippines. Originally, Las Islas Filipinas, Felipe el Rey Segundo de España. So this time, Miguel Lopez de Legazpi landed in Cebu in 1565 and completely colonized the Panay Islands, or now the Visayas region, until 1570. Sorry. And in 1571, he heard that the Chinese the Indianized countries and the natives here in the Philippines are having trade here. So fast forward, 1591 was when the then Governor General of the Philippines, Perez de Marinas fortified the walls of Intramuros so that the Spanish people could have an exclusive village for themselves. And it takes them 10 years to finish building the 4.5 kilometer walls of Intramuros because they have to wait for the Chinese traders to come here and bring them the volcanic taps. Which they don't know is we already have volcanic taps here in the Philippines, which is located in Makati. So when they found that one, they used the Pasig River to transport the uh, volcanic tops from Makati to Intramuros, finishing the walls of Intramuros. So fast forward again, 1762 to 1764 was when the British invaded the Philippines. So some parts of the walls facing the land area was destroyed during that time. And also, the British uh, easily conquered Manila because the Spanish government doesn't have cannons but pointed to the land area. So in 1765, they had a lesson learned. So when they rebuilt some parts of the walls, they added fortifications and more than 20 cannons directly pointed to land area, not this one. Okay, so fast forward again, 1898 was when the Spanish government sold the Philippines to the American government for $20 million. You know why? You know why the Spanish government sold the, the Philippines? Anyone? No. Anyone? No. Actually, when there's a, during that time, the, 
Philippine Revolutionary Government was about to defeat them. So to invert the situation, they just sold this. And you know why the American government bought this? Colonized. You know why the United States uh, bought the Philippines? Aside from it's cheap and they have money. <laughs> was on sale? Yes. <laughs> yeah, point. we're on sale during that time. Because uh, the uh, Japanese government, empire, I mean, was a rising power during that time. So what's the cheapest way to get rid of the em your enemy? Look for an island nearby your enemy and build a military base there. And on December 8, 1941 was when the Japanese soldiers killed, I mean, bombed Manila. And they killed 100,000 people in Manila alone from 1941 to 1945. And all over the Philippines, it was 1.8 million. They killed, raped, spit people into half using their swords and bayonets. But until today, the Japanese government doesn't claim that they killed those people. The only thing that they claim is they destroyed Manila. That's why until today, they're lending us some money and giving us funds for infrastructure projects here in the Philippines. So that's in the, the invasion here in the Philippines. At the same time, in 1941, this anti-warship cannon was installed by the Japanese. And uh, one thing I can tell you about this is, coincidentally, this cannon is directly pointed to the U.S. Embassy, which I don't know who spotted it. It was installed in 1941, U.S. Embassy was established in 1950s, but this area was recovered in 1950s. Yeah. Okay. Showing us something. Can I show it to the camera? Yep. Yeah. Actually, someone from U.S. Embassy already knows about it. <laughs> I accidentally told him. Yeah. Are you guys learning? Uh, yeah, we're history learning a history. lot, you know. Uh, uh, it's a uh, big time history. Yeah. Are you memorizing? I'm okay. gonna ask you. Are you even understanding? Do you understand? How are you, Mr. Photographer? Okay. <laughs> Any questions so far? Questions? No, they went up there. Yeah. Any questions? No. Yeah, good. You're good. So I'm gonna give you time to take pictures, selfies, my day, Snapchat, boomerang, or whatever. So Instagram we stories. Yeah. Before we go to our next. Episode. The manager.